Welcome back. In this, we'll discuss uh, what are the different addressing modes available in SICXE, as well as uh, I will discuss how to do the target address calculation uh, given the object code. In the previous video, uh, I have already discussed what are the different instruction formats available in SICXE. The link for that video is given in the description below. To make it easy, uh, I will uh, briefly discuss about these uh, instruction formats and then we will go with addressing modes and so on. The uh, format 1, actually there are 4 formats are available in SICXE. The size of format 1 is uh, 1 byte and it contains only opcode. The example for this one is R sub. It does not have any operand. The size, of, uh, the number of bits required to represent this R sub is equivalent to 8 bits in this case. The format 2 has uh, 2 bytes in size. Uh, the first 8 bits will represent the opcode. The next 4 bits will represent R1 and uh, second uh, 4 bits will represent the uh, second register in this case. The example for this one is add R, uh, ST, where S and T are the two registers in this case. Coming back to the format 3 and format 4, there is a slight change in this case uh, regarding the last uh, 12 and 20 bits. The last 20 bits are displacement in format 3 and last 20 bits are address in format 4. The first 12 bits are exactly same. Out of 12 bits, the first 6 bits will represent the opcode. The remaining uh, 6 bits uh, are used as flags so that we can uh, define different uh, addressing modes as well as the format here. Uh, the flags are NIX, BPE, where the value of E will decide whether it is a format 3 or format 4. If uh, E is equal to 0, it is format 3. If E is equal to 1, it is format 4 in this case. Now the remaining bits uh, will define uh, what kind of addressing mode is this and so on. So that is what I will discuss uh, in the next slide. Uh, let us assume that the value of N is equal to 1, I is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. Uh, and p is equal to 0. The value of x uh, may be 0 or x may be 1. Anything is possible. There is no issue about this. If this is the case, it is called as base relative addressing mode because uh, the p is set to 0. So, there is no question of uh, program counter in this case. b is 1 means base relative. Because i and n both are set to 1, it is neither immediate nor indirect here. Here only, if the value of x is equal to 1, it will become base relative indexed addressing mode. So, that is the one more kind of addressing mode we have here. Now, coming back to the second one. Uh, in this case, you can see here B is 0, P is 1. Again, the value of X may be 0 or you can say that it may be 1 in this case. Uh, in this case, like uh, N is equal to 1, I is equal to 1 and P is equal to 1, it is program counter relative addressing mode. If the value of X is equal to 1, it will become program counter relative indexed addressing mode in that case. Now coming back to the next one, uh, if the value of n is equal to 1, i is equal to 1, uh, as well as b and p, both are uh, 0, 0. In such case, uh, this is called as a direct addressing mode. At the same time, if the value of x is equal to 1, it will become uh, indexed, uh, uh, what we can say that uh, uh, addressing mode over here, that we will discuss uh, the separately. We have one more addressing mode here. If the value of i is equal to 1, and the value of x is equal to 0, the value of n is equal to 0. It's a very important uh, kind of addressing mode. This is called as immediate addressing mode in this case. At the same time, if the value of n is equal to 1 and remaining are 0, 0, it is called as indirect addressing mode in this case. Coming back to the next one, uh, either the value of n and i is 0 or 1. It may be 0 or 1 and the value of x is equal to 1 it is called as indexed addressing mode. As I already said, the value of uh, i will uh, determine whether it is uh, format 3 or format 4. If it is 0, it is format 3. If it is 1, it is format 4 in this case. Now, we will take some simple example to understand these uh, uh, addressing modes. Uh, let us say that uh, in the first case, uh, the value of n, i, b is 1, p is equal to 0 here. So, the target address calculated is something like this the value of uh, base register plus displacement and the displacement is coming from here. The value of displacement must be in the range of 0 to 4095 here. Uh, phi it is uh, uh, the value of B plus displacement is the value of B is set to 1 the meaning it is base relative addressing mode. In the second case you can see here the P is 1, B is 0 remaining everything is same here. In such case we use two 
do the target address calculation something like this program counter the value of program counter plus displacement here and the displacement must be in the range of this one that is uh, minus 2048 to 2047 if it is more than that we will shift to what is that called as base relative addressing mode in this case now coming back to the next one uh, if n and i are 1 and remaining are 0 0 uh, here uh, it is neither immediate nor index the ad in indirect addressing mode as well as it is not base relative and program control relative because both of them are set to 0 0 here uh, the target address is exactly the the displacement over here. There is no need to do anything uh, like addition, subtraction, whatever is not required here. Coming back to the next one, uh, n is set to 1, i is set to 1 as well as x is set to 1 here. You can see here. The meaning of this one is it's an index addressing mode. Target address is always equal to the value of index register plus displacement which will give you the target address over here. Similarly, uh, if the value of i is equal to 1, uh, remaining all are 0, the meaning is it is a uh, direct value. There is no need of a target address or anything. So, whatever is present, for example, LDA hash 3, the meaning is 3 will be stored into A. We don't need to do anything here. No, tar uh, no target address, nothing. Directly, the value will be stored here. This is uh, indirect addressing mode. Uh, in this case, the value of n is equal to 1, i, x, r, 0, 0 here. The target address is equal to the value of this particular displacement or the, the value present at this particular displacement will become the target address in this case. So, this is how uh, we can easily calculate uh, the target address over here. Now, we will take one very simple example uh, where we have been given uh, what you can say that the hexadecimal codes or the object codes. Uh, we want to calculate the target address here. So, what all things are given to us is the value of index register is given to us the value of base register is given to us, the value of program counter, uh, relate, uh, program counter is given to us and uh, the memory location is also given. And these will represent uh, the address locations and these will uh, represent the values here. So, 3030 is uh, the address, 003600 is the value in this case. Similarly, 303600 is the address and this is the value and so on. Given these things as well as the object code, how to calculate the target address? So, that has been shown in this particular diagram. Uh, this is given to us and this is given to us. Given these things, we want to convert this particular hexadecimal codes into this target address as well as the value present at those particular addresses here. Now, I will take this particular one. I will convert this particular thing into binary. This is what the binary representation of uh, 032600. Now, first 6 bits will represent what? Opcode. Next 6 bits will represent this particular flags. The last 12 bits will represent this particular displacement here. Now, the value of E is equal to 0 means it is a format 3. And the value of P is equal to 1. N and I are 1, 1. The meaning is it is a program counter relative addressing mode. So, program counter means we have to add the program counter value to this particular displacement. So, program counter value is how much? 3000 plus this one is 600. Zero zero. So, if I add 600, zero zero, it will become 3600 here. So, that is what you can see. Uh, this is the target address. The value present at this target address is how much? You just check it out. The value present at this particular address is 103000. So, that is what the value is. Now, coming back to this one 03C300. Zero zero. Again, it is converted into binary here. Uh, we have to concentrate on this particular part. This particular part says that E is equal to 0 means it is uh, format 3. B is equal to 1 means uh, base relative uh, uh, addressing mode. Within that we have what is that called as index here. So, uh, what is the value present in uh, base? That is uh, 6000. First of all it is 6000. Plus index value that is nothing but 90. Plus uh, the displacement here. The displacement is 300. So, it will become 300. This is nothing but 6390 here. So, this is the target address. It is written over here. Now, the value present at this target address is what? 00. Uh, the value present at this one is 00C303. That is what you can see here. Now, coming back to the next one, again I have converted into binary. 
once you convert this particular thing into binary you can see here it is program counter relative indirect addressing mode here n is set to 1 as well as p is set to 1 here and the displacement is uh, 3 0 here so program counter value is 3000 that is the first thing here to this one displacement is 30 I will add it will become 3030 this is a target address and the value present at this target address is uh, uh, actually the target address the value present at this one is how much value present at this one is 3600 and its value because indirect is one more level we have to take this is the value in this case 103000 over here now coming back to the next one uh, this one is converted into binary here here i is set to 1 it means uh, immediate addressing mode so whatever is present in the displacement that is the target address so what is present here that is 30 so 30 is the target address and that is the final value here coming back to the next one 003600 uh, if you convert this particular thing into what we can say that uh, a binary we will get something like this now uh, it is uh, extended format as well as uh, the program counter relative addressing mode program counter is 3000 here so i will take 3000 plus its value that is 600 so if i add 600 here it will become 3600 in this case now 3600 is the target address and its value is equal to how much i think uh, this is the value here i have written it here coming back to the last one i will convert it into binary here you can say neither immediate nor indirect addressing mode but it is an extended format okay so whatever is present here uh, that will become what we can say that our uh, target address because we don't have anything called as x here we don't have b we don't have p uh, we don't have i and n okay so the meaning of this one is whatever is present in the displacement that is your target address uh, that is nothing but c303 that is what the thing here now uh, this one c303 the value present at this one is what double zero three zero three zero that is what is written here so in this case uh, what i did is i have discussed uh, the different addressing modes available in sic as well as how to calculate the target address given the hexadecimal code or you can say that the object code in this case i hope the concept is clear if you have any questions you can put those questions in the comment box i will try to answer those questions as early as possible if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.